so we looked at you know what happens you know when there are ones okay in the output of the truth table now is it possible to look at the zeros and actually arrive at a similar expression right so let us look at that also so let me take maybe let me take the same example that i started with um i am going to start with yeah so yeah so let me look at a2 a1 a0 i am going to look at y0 okay 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 right so what is y0 we said it was just the inversion of a0 so it was going to be like this 1 0 1 0 1 0 and of course we looked at the min terms but now can i implement a boolean logic or a, the boolean function can i express it in terms of the zeros as well okay so now let us look at what happens here you see this there are four zeros okay now if i were to implement uh, you know the boolean function using these zeros i first need to understand what i did when i implemented it using the ones okay so let us look at the meaning of these min terms the min terms was basically a product right it basically said a2 bar a1 bar a0 bar okay and then this was a2 bar a1 and a0 bar okay something like that and then we wrote it as a sum right now what does the and condition mean right the product what does that mean right it basically says that the product can be one only if each term in that product in each term of that min term happens to be a one because it's an and gate that we are implementing there right so therefore if i want to deal with the min terms which is a product i am the i have to deal with an and gate and where basically i am saying every term has to be one in order to be in order for the min term to be one right and the next thing that we did was to do sum of products we took those products and put them through an or gate so what does that mean it means that the uh, sum final sum could be one if any one of these min terms happen to be one and that's exactly what we want right if any com any of the these combinations appear at the inputs we want the output to be one for why not to be one that's exactly the definition of the truth table right now if i want to do the same thing with zeros right what should i do okay so the zero is a uh, you know a slightly uh, you know it's it's the dual of the one right so in the min terms we were able to consider the product in the max term i'll have to consider the sum not the product okay for example i will have to do this a2 bar uh, no 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 what is it what is the value of the input that will result in a zero okay so therefore that has to be a2 or a1 or a0 bar okay some uh, let me write out you know the min terms for the other cases also so this is uh, a2 a1 bar a0 bar the last one is a2 a1 a0 okay now we got this thing here similarly for the max term 
right for the next 0 we finish this now we are looking at this it has to be a2 or a1 bar or a0 bar okay and then we are saying this has to be a2 bar or a1 or a0 bar. Finally, we are saying it has to be a2 bar, uh, sorry, this is wrong, this has to be a2, a1, a0 bar, right. So, the last max term will be a2 bar plus a1 bar plus a0 uh, yes a0 bar okay so in some sense we now have the cases the input combinations where we know the output has to be a 1 okay so we wrote one y not SOP as this expression a2 bar a1 bar a0 bar plus a2 bar a1 a0 bar plus a2 a1 bar a0 bar plus a2 a1 a0 bar right uh, this is what we got because uh, so how do we how do i verify this it is a2 a1 bar a2 bar a1 yeah so this is right i am now going to write something known as the product of some expression right that is i can write the same y not okay as a product of sums each of these is a sum each of these is a sum all right it's an or gate and if i put all of them through an and gate what does it mean again we have to see what this means because of the sum we know that the input combination if it is that it will come out to be a zero now when when will the uh, you know when will the output we want the output to be a zero if any of these combinations occur Right, that is the definition again of the truth table or the functionality that we want to implement. And therefore, if I take these sum terms and put them through an AND gate, any one term being 0 will actually result in the output being 0. Right. So, therefore, I can write the same y not as a product of sums which is a2 plus a1 plus a0 bar into AND gate a2 plus a1 bar plus a0 bar into a2 bar plus a1 plus a0 bar a2 bar plus a1 bar plus a0 bar these two representations are the same you have to get the same a0 bar as the answer after you simplify this whole thing here, right. So, um, in order to do that, you know, you will have to do a lot of uh, Boolean simplification around here and all that. But effectively, the same expression output for y0 can be, it can, it can be represented in two different ways, either the sum of product or the product of sums. So, I leave this as an exercise. Do the Boolean simplification and show that you are able to get this. So, where will you, where would one want to use the sum of product or product of sums, right? So, let us look at a very simple example of the AND NAND gate. Uh, y AND Y NAND. Okay. So, this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. The AND gate is like this. 
the NAND is like this. Okay. Now, if I were to go ahead and do this, you know, using uh, the sum of products in both cases, the AND gate would give me the answer straight away because there is only one, this A into B. Okay. On the other hand, NAND gate, if I were to do it using the sum of product terms, we know that we had to start with three min terms, right? M0, M1, M2, add them up, do Boolean simplification and then show that is uh, that is the same as A into B whole bar. Now, what you can do is, you can simply look at this 0, okay? I will express this in the product of some terms. So, here I will do min term and for that it is simply going to be a b on the other hand for the nand i will do max term where i will simply look at the zero and what is the combination of the inputs when written as a sum that will give me a zero well that has to be a bar plus b bar Okay, and therefore I can say y NAND is also equal to A bar plus B bar. This is nothing but A into B whole bar by De Morgan's laws. So, in some sense, what we are saying is the two representations, sum of product, product of sums are the same. All you have to do is if you have more number of ones and very few zeros, sparsely populated zeros in the truth table, it may be better to deal with the product of some implementation. On the other hand, if you have sparsely populated ones in the truth table, it may be better to deal with the sum of product implementations, right? Of course, if you embark on doing Boolean simplification to both of them, you will end up with the same answer irrespective of what canonical representation you use, right? So, uh, in summary, you know, you can now take a black box, get the truth table and get the min terms or the max terms, simplify the whole thing and, uh, you know, implement the, 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 uh, the Boolean expression with as few gates as possible right and the gates are and or and invert right inverter so with this you can implement any arbitrary boolean function that you have to uh, you know that 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 is given to you right and who gives it to you that usually comes from the spec of a product you want to do this particular uh, task and therefore from that you can get the truth table and then you proceed from there so, in the next lecture, what we will do is we will look at some other techniques of, you know, instead of doing this Boolean simplification by hand and by expressions like this, we will look at alternate Boolean simplification techniques, which is known as the Carnot map technique. Thank you.